We could have cleaned up the house ourselves. Do you remember a certain example of a certain little nun with a big mouth who got in an argument with a certain person who had authority in the church? And at a certain meeting of bishops and cardinals, one of them said, we got to get rid of the little nun with a big mouth. We can't have little nuns with big mouths criticizing bishops and cardinals. And another bishop spoke up and said, oh yes, I agree. However, I have here a list of 157 bishops and cardinals who openly defy the teaching of the Holy Father, and I say, let's get rid of them first. And the conversation ended very abruptly. Are there things wrong with the church? Yes. But there's nothing wrong with the divine institution of the church. What is wrong is individual human beings who have failed to be faithful to the church and to Christ. What is wrong is a way of acting a way of governing that is arrogant, condescending, patronizing. Got to go. What is wrong is a church that acts like a triumphant church while it's still on the face of the earth. The triumphant church is in heaven. On this earth, the militant church is to be a humble church and a servant church. And if we do not humble ourselves, then God will humiliate us. If we do not clean up our own house, then God, through his secular instruments, will clean up the church. We can do it the easy way, which is humility, or the hard way. My uncle Tony used to say, Boy, some people, you got to hit them between the eyes with a two-by-four just to get their attention. We had a two-by-four September 11th. We got another two-by-four in the church now, hitting us right in the face. How will we respond? Arrogant denial? Humble submission. Bow lowly under the hand of God. Be humble, and God will raise you up. For surely God exalts the humble, but he humbles the proud. There is only one possible response to this mess. Humility. Acknowledgement of guilt where guilt is concerned and then change things. We cannot afford to be permissive any longer. A bishop has to be a man, first and foremost. He has to be a man. And although I hate to criticize a bishop, and they're criticized too much, and I sympathize with them, all of them, they have an awfully hard job. The weight of the world is on their shoulders. And so I, we must pray for them. But they've got to be a man. First and foremost, and sometimes a man has to do hard things. A man who's head of a family sometimes has to do awful difficult things. 